the Kremlin has once again resorted to nuclear blackmail. According to the Ukrainian army general and former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Nikolai Malamuz, the reason is the panic that has arisen among the Russian leadership due to the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region. Putin is scared. The Ukrainian armed forces have entered the territory of the Russian Federation and the operation in the Kursk region may continue and expand. The same applies to the temporarily occupied territories. Ukraine may launch strategic strikes where the enemy does not expect it at all, in particular in the south, in the direction of Crimea. And this may already become a sign of the fall of the regime, he explained on the air of the Espresso TV channel. Malomuz noted that Moscow is simply observing the events in the Kursk region. Now the enemy has no choice but to resume nuclear rhetoric. In this way, they seem to be trying to act preemptively, fearing a Ukrainian offensive in certain areas of the front, he added. According to the general, Russia has been warned that the use of nuclear weapons is not acceptable. And if Moscow does prepare for strikes with tactical nuclear weapons, this will lead to a confrontation against the entire world. Now everyone is waiting for our partners' decision on the use of their weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation. This will be another red line through which the Kremlin resorts to nuclear blackmail. Lavrov's statements about the alleged change in the concept of the defense of the Russian Federation in particular on the use of nuclear weapons are connected with this. However, if the Russian Federation prepares for strikes with tactical nuclear weapons, this will lead to a confrontation against the entire world. Western countries, China, India and other countries have warned the Russian Federation about the use of nuclear weapons. Nikolai Malomuz stated, As is known, this is not the first time Moscow has brandished nuclear weapons in the context of the war against Ukraine. The other day, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, commenting on the issue of permission to strike the Russian Federation with storm shadow missiles, said that the aggressor country has a doctrine on the use of nuclear weapons which is currently being clarified. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky responded to the statement. According to him, the Russians regularly try to intimidate the international community and threats regarding nuclear weapons are part of this intimidation program. Oles Malyarevich, deputy commander with the 92nd Brigade's Achilles Battalion of Ukraine, reports intense fighting in the settlement of Lybok with Ukraine's armed forces holding the upper hand. He shared this on Espresso TV. We're continuing our operations in the Strelecha, Lybok, Lipsy direction in the Kharkiv region. Right now, there's heavy fighting in Lybok, but the momentum is fully in our favor. Our mission is to liberate Lybok. The Russian forces are desperately holding onto every house, every dugout, pulling in reinforcements wherever they can. They're throwing in their reserves, but since these are small infantry units, they can always be reinforced by nearby troops, Malyarevich explained. According to him, the Russians realize that the border is just seven kilometers from Lybok. If they lose Lybok, they'll retreat to Strelecha, which sits right on the border. This means they'll lose what they captured in May, and the situation could unfold similarly to what's happening in the Kursk region. The deputy commander also mentioned that Russian forces have started shifting some of their reserves from the Kharkiv direction to the Kursk region. This is noticeable on the front line. We've seen a drop in the number of guided aerial bombs. We're seizing this window of opportunity to strengthen our position, Malyarevich noted. The Russians have understood the purpose of the diversionary maneuver in the Kursk region and have not moved their forces from the Pokrovsk direction. On the contrary, they are only reinforcing this area. Perhaps in a week or two, we will see the first battles for the city of Pokrovsk. The Russians are advancing. If they were 50 kilometers away from Pokrovsk in winter, they have now almost reached the city, noted Ivan Stupak, a Ukrainian military expert. According to the military expert, there are questions to the local authorities of Pokrovsk. These issues were first voiced by the military. They observe that in Pokrovsk, the same pattern is repeating as in Bakhmut, Solidar, Avdiivka, Marinka and other cities. Instead of building fortifications, funds were spent on city improvements. As a result, the Russians are getting closer. Stupak emphasized, 